This episode I found myself in Hallettsville, Texas in the city cemetery. Uh, the cemetery has been here quite a while. Most of the markers and graves I'm going to show you are from the late 1800s, early 1900s, but this place is still in use so we're going to be sticking to the older parts of the cemetery while on the outskirts the newer parts uh, we're just gonna let them rest. Mm -hmm. Everything else is that I didn't even know existed. I love you so much. But this is where I am now. And this is who I am now.
larger plots here is this one for uh, William Von Rosenberg, uh, I believe. Yeah, Rosenberg. Uh, so it's him. Uh, the, the giant marker right here is uh, in memorial to him. It, it kind of represents everything here. Uh, but it's William, his mother, and his father. And on these stones, marking uh, where each individual is buried, there's uh, our mother, our father, and then William says, Willie boy. And I kind of like that. There's something very personal about uh, kind of using the pet name or the nickname of the person on that stone as the identifier. I mean, he's got the grandiose statue in the background with his, his full name and his date of birth, his date of death, all that kind of stuff. But this one, where he actually is, this is Willie boy. I like that. So we have another uh, extension of the Von Rosenberg family. Uh, this one is for the husband and wife, which is Otto and Lizette. Otto and Lizette. Uh, and their three, well, they, they have a, a few more than three children. There's, there's actually a grave here, the eldest surviving sibling of the uh, children. But then we have these three, which uh, two of them are probably a year old. They passed away within a year of being born. And then this one was their 13-year-old daughter. Uh, I found this family plot quite sad, obviously. The parents lived to be in their late 40s, 50s. Um, you know, they, they lived fairly good lives for the age. But their children did not make it they passed i found that quite sad but at least uh this one um he lived uh until 2001 so he i mean that's kind of sad too to, to kind of outlive all of your siblings who who you never really had a chance to get to know so i found that very sad obviously hanging out in cemeteries you're going to be dealing with a lot of death it's always the children's graves that get me probably because i'm a father but uh you know, I, I, it really hits home when, when you just see so many children who have passed away before their parents, uh, because that's just not how it's meant to be. Very frequently in cemeteries, you'll come across a marker uh, for a family or a person that also has a, a place for them to sit, a bench. Uh, sometimes it's just a, a normal bench, wood, metal, set near the, the marker. Other times it's uh, a little bit more ornate, in uh, such as in the case of this one, which is super ornate, which also, something I really like, has the history of the, the family, uh, specifically the father, the, the reverend, of, of the family uh, written out on the back of the bench, uh, which is great because then I get to learn about this person and then their their graves are, are right behind me. Unfortunately, this thing has toppled. The, the back has fallen off onto the ground. And obviously, as you can see, it's it's got a lot of growth on it. So you wouldn't want to sit there. But uh, as cool as that is, it is unfortunate that it's, it's as old as it is and un, untaken care of that it, it's fallen down now.
this cemetery, I was easily able to find where all the oldest markers are. Uh, that's because they're the larger, more ornate uh, sections, generally up front or in the middle. Uh, that's where they started the cemetery, obviously, and then it slowly grows out from there. And as you can see in the background, this place is quite large, but the the markers on the outside borders are very modern, very new. In fact, I saw a few uh, brand new plots as I came in, and they definitely are more cared for. Obviously, uh, they're clean. They're t uh, they've got you know flowers on them. Uh, people have recently visited them. That kind of stuff. But the older stones, uh, these areas are uh, pretty run down, actually run down because it is the responsibility of the family to keep the markers uh, clean and uh, repair them if they break and clean up kind of thing. And the older the monument is, the more likely that the family of that person has either moved away or passed on themselves. And so there's nobody left to come and care for the monument, uh, to clean it up, to repair it if it falls down. And so the older sections of these cemeteries, uh, even if it's a cemetery still in use to this day, tend to be uh, pretty worn down. And this one is no exception. One of the things I did notice is because we're in Texas, it's very humid here. Things grow a whole lot more easily. A lot of these stones are uh, just covered with algae and moss and to the point where I can't read m the majority of these stones because they're just so overgrown uh, and with nobody to come and clean them up. Uh, I mean, slowly but surely that those uh, growths are gonna eat away at the stone and eventually we're just gonna have unidentifiable markers. Uh, that is why it's important for people to volunteer and to clean up markers when they can responsibly and with the proper material so they don't further damage the, the stones. I would love to see some of these stones get that treatment. I always love coming across the Woodmen of the World monuments. They are always very ornate. They always look great. This one struck me because not only is it as ornate as you would usually find, I love the, the look of the chopped wood top. Uh, it looks as if, you know, someone cut it and then, you know, had to restart it a few times so it's all layered at the top. And I don't think I've seen that before on, on these types of monuments but I'm, I always enjoy finding these in cemeteries. So this specific family plot I find uh, to be very sad because they obviously had a large family. They obviously had the money to uh, give themselves a large area, to give themselves ornate markers, but those ornate markers have crumbled and fallen to the ground and are in many, many pieces. We also have uh, smaller markers for children uh, right behind there. And those have also been, uh, they've lost wherever they were originally placed. Some are, are stacked two by two. But this this is pretty sad to see the, the disrepair of this specific family plot. And this happens when uh, the family has moved away, whatever remaining family they have uh, has moved away. And now uh, this plot sits alone and uncared for and with these very ornate stones, I mean, it's very expensive to fix those. And when there's nobody here to take care of that, they just fall to the ground and that's where they remain.